something. So I always say this: it would be really interesting if somebody would teach a logic class, like a practical, critical thinking, because but that goes against what you know. The people in charge will not be successful if we're educated. That's right. why Carlin was so popular because he would break it down and say, "Look, you know, they're fooling you. They're not on your team." You know, Chappelle recently said to somebody at a party, and he was talking about it, I think, when he was interviewed by Letterman, which is one of the greatest interviews. Yeah, that was good. In a long time. Oh, that's the new one that came out. Just yeah, came out, right? It, yeah. Yeah, that was during the debates, and I rather I watched tell, people telling the truth instead of mm -hmm. people lying. Yeah. But he said, you know, to you people in the audience, you know, you know, you're saying that Trump helps me, you know, the poor people, and Chappelle says, no, he's helping me, the rich people. But you know, right. there's so much lying, and there's so much, you know. They're playing charades with the yeah. truth. Not that I want to get into who's the best politician, you know. Yeah, we know Trump that, sucks a dick, so that's right. fine. We, <laughs> yeah, we used to book him on Letterman because he was a clown and right. he played television. But know? it's it's interesting how that that how people will contort they'll contort their own their own morality to fit into that to to attach that because they see value in him. They see themselves they, they see themselves in him. Right. In Plus, some television is such a powerful medium. They think he's really a successful businessman who was the apprentice guy. Yeah. You know, like people see the Bachelorette TV, yeah. and they think mm -hmm. that's how relationships work. I'll tell you, I did, I did eight, I did a couple of episodes. I did like eight episodes of Blacklist. And in the, in the scene, the, the writing is I got a snitch on the main character. And I, when it came out, I went, came through the hood, and it was like, yo, you snitching? Yo, you, I'm like, <laughs> right. I didn't write. And here's how ghetto I was. I didn't even want to say, it. I yeah. didn't want to <laughs> say the line. I, I was talking to the, I, I feel like he should, like, do <laughs> it like this. So the, the, the line would be like, I'm going to tell everything. And I'd be like, look, I, I didn't see nothing. They're like, cut. That's not what the line <laughs> right, is. Right, right. Because yeah. I was so programmed that you don't that, that you well you hope the production snitch. because you needed yeah. a lawyer You're like i need and my you, attorney and you probably knew my brother-in-law because he was the director of photography for that show oh yeah yeah <laughs> and then the, the other thing is when the, but the, my character snitched and then he ends up not snitching in front of all the big wits so i was good so i'm still mm. good in the hood but <laughs> i mean the point is the people perceive that as if this was real, it's like this becomes so real for them, you know? You man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.